Good evening everyone, this is Atish Gaur here and this time we have a new learning video on rules for finding particular integral, rule number 3. In this learning video, we will recollect the definition of particular integral first. Then we'll see the working rule of rule 3 followed by two example on the same. The first example that we are going to discuss in this learning video is purely on rule number 3 whereas the second example is a combination of rule number 2 and rule number 3. The particular integral pi for the differential equation of the form f of d into y equal to x then 1 upon f of d into x is called as particular integral and we generally write pi as 1 upon f of d into x as you all are aware of okay now depending on this function of x we have different rules to find out particular integral as we have already seen that if this x is equal to e to the power x we have rule 1 if this x is equal to cos x or sin x we have rule 2 and as I said that we are discussing rule number 3 in this learning video so this x must be other than e to the power x or sin x or cos x. So rule number 3 is for when this x is equal to x to the power m. Where what is x to the power m? x to the power m is a polynomial of degree m. Then pi is equal to 1 upon f of d x to the power m. Now basically what we have to do in this rule number 3 is you just try to write this f of d as 1 plus function of d in the power minus 1 x to the power m. Okay, now we have these two binomial expansion 1 plus u or 1 minus u power minus 1. Okay, so we'll apply 1 plus u power minus 1 or 1 minus u power minus 1 as the case it may be. Okay, so you have to remember these two notes as far as this rule number 3 is concerned. So, after writing down this, we have to expand this with the help of these two binomial expansion in the ascending power of d up to the highest power of d in m and then operate on x to the power m. Okay, now if we have x square, then what you have to do? You have to write down the expansion up to u square. If this x is, if this x to the power m is x cube, then you have to write up to u cube term okay so to make this idea more clear let us take an example so example number one is solve d2 y by dx square plus 5 d y by dx plus 6 phi equal to x square okay so what is given to us this now we are writing in terms of d these are the notation d stands for d dx okay so dy by dx stands for dy so writing down this in terms of d, so what we have d2y plus 5dy plus 6y is equal to x square. We have taken y common. Okay. Now after writing down this, we have to write down its auxiliary equation. So what is its auxiliary equation? m square plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. Putting d is equal to m. Now you can solve this equation by on your own or with the help of calculator we'll get m is equal to minus 2 minus 3. As the roots are real and unequal it falls under the first condition of complementary function. So what is complementary function? c1 e to the power minus 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 3x. Now we are very much interested in pi because the learning video is all about this particular learning video is all about pi on rule number 3. So what is it? 1 upon d square plus 5d plus 6 into x square. So we have to express this as 1 plus u or 1 minus u as you have seen the binomial expansion that we have to use in this video. Okay. So what you have to do is you just make it 1 plus something. So to make this 1 plus something, I will take 6 common. Is it? So when you take 6 common, we'll get 6 common 1 plus d square plus 5d by 6 into x square as it is. 
okay now this 1 by 6 as it is now i am taking this term of the denominator to the numerator so it is 1 plus d square plus 5d by 6 power minus 1 into x square okay now this is 1 plus u where u is equal to d square plus 5d by 6 power minus 1 so which formula we are going to make use of here 1 plus u to the power minus 1 okay and as we have x square as a function so we have to write up to the term up to u square okay so applying the binomial expansion will get this okay now after applying the binomial uh, expansion we have to operate it on x square so 1 into x square x square 1 by 6 as it is now d square of x square phi d of x square now you have to apply a plus b whole square and then operate on x square so d power 4 x square then phi 2 is a 10 d cube x square and 25 d square x square upon 36 now we have x square so its first derivative is 2x second derivative is 2 now second onwards derivative are 0 okay so from this will get 2 from this will get 2x from this will get 0 0 and again here it is 2 okay so after taking derivatives we have this as d stands for derivative with respect to x okay solving this will get x square minus 2 by 6 can be written as minus 1 by 3 plus into minus minus 10 by 6 that is minus 5 by 3x plus as it is 25 into to 50 by 36 that can be written as 25 by 18 okay now simple mathematics school days time so just have to subtract 20, uh, 1 by 3 from 25 by 18 we get 19 by 18 okay so in this way we got the particular integral we have cf we have pi so write down the complete solution y is equal to cf plus pi and don't forget to write c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants okay so if this example is clear to you let us take a combination now as i stated earlier that the second example is going to be the combination of rule number two and three so this is the example we want to take because sometimes in the examination uh, we don't have only a particular rule sometimes the problem is of uh, combination of some rules sometimes two and three like this example sometimes one and two sometimes one and three okay so this is the example we have to solve so given d square minus 4d plus 1 operating on y equal to cos 2x plus x write down its auxiliary equation by putting d is equal to m and rest of the thing as 0 so m square minus 4m plus 1 equal to 0 solving this we'll get m is equal to 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 so as the roots are real and unequal this falls under the first case of complementary function one remark I would like to make here is students get confused with these things as the roots are real but students think that these roots are complex so as I already told you to see whether the roots are complex or not iota must be there if iota is present in the root means that root is complex otherwise it's a real okay so roots are real and unequal so accordingly cf would be c1 e to the power 2 plus root 3 plus c2 e to the power minus e to the power 2 minus root 3 x okay what is pi now pi is equal to 1 upon d square minus 4 d plus 1 into cos 2 x plus x now separating this we get this now i can write pi as pi 1 plus pi 2 okay here it is where what is pi 1 1 upon d square minus 4d plus 1 into cos 2x now as we have cos 2x on the right hand side so we have to apply rule number 2 okay and what does rule number 2 says put d square equal to minus of a whole square that is minus 4 what is the value of a 2 
okay and after putting this value we'll get 1 upon minus 4 minus 4d plus 1 into cos 2x so minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 minus 4d taking minus 3 common will get 3 plus 4d into cos 2x now as i told you in the last learning video on rules for finding particular integral rule 2 we must have d square in order to apply rule 2 but we have d so here we are multiplying and dividing by the conjugate of 3 plus 4d which is 3 minus 4d okay so minus sign i am writing in the numerator 3 minus 4d and here I am applying a plus i b, sorry, a plus b and a minus i b, which is a square minus b square. Now, as we have seen d square, now again apply d square equal to minus of a square. So, what we get? Minus of 3 minus 4d cos 2x as it is. 9 minus 16 into d square as minus 4. So, 9 minus 16 minus 4. Here it is. So, minus as it is, 3 into cos 2x minus 4 d of cos 2x. Now, 16 fours are 64 plus 9, that's 73. Okay. Now, all the thing you have to write as it is. Here, d stands for derivative. So, what is derivative of cos 2x? Sin 2x into 2. Okay. So, minus sin 2x derivative of cos 2x is minus sin 2x so minus minus become plus sin 2x and here it is 4 and derivative of 2x is 2 4 that is 8 and then 73 as it is so this is your pi 1 now let us find out pi 2 1 upon d square minus 4d plus 1 into x now as i told you and we have seen in the previous example as well we have to write it as 1 plus something so already 1 is there so no need to common anything earlier it was 6 that's why i am taking that why i have taken 6 as common to make it 1 now it is already 1 so nothing to worry about so write down it is 1 plus d square minus 40 what is e okay 1 plus d square minus 40 into x now take it into a numerator so it is power minus 1 okay 1 plus d square minus 40 minus 1 now you have to apply the expansion 1 plus u to the power minus 1 okay so as you can see we have x to the power 1 so we have to write only u to the power 1 term up to what is u d square minus 40 so 1 minus u plus u square no need to write okay now operate 1 into x x minus of d square x minus minus plus 4 times d of x and so on now what is derivative of x with respect to x 1 and double derivative of x with respect to x is 0 okay so x this is 0 plus 4 so we have x plus 4 so we have pi 1 and pi 2 now put the value of pi 1 and pi 2 in equation a we get pi is equal to this so the complete solution is y is equal to cf plus pi okay and again i am saying uh, don't forget to write where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants thank you for watching this learning video thank you so much